Good morning guys and welcome back. So today, we're gonna to make the inside of the Jeep a little bit cooler. Now, you might look at this and be like, what the actual hell is that? So this is a bit of like drainage pipe you might use in the garden to deter water to other sections of your property. This was a little bit more expensive than I thought. This is $27 from Bunnings. I thought it would be a lot cheaper. Um, but you can make this like a few different lengths. Um, it's got like a fitting part on the um, top side of it, um, like a female and a male side, so you can hook it up to different stuff. So you're probably thinking, why would I, how would this make the inside of our Jeep cooler? Well, we live in Australia, it's freaking hot. Um, we don't like the heat, I don't like the heat, and my son, who's two and a half, doesn't like the heat. And if you guys own a Jeep, you know the inside of the Jeep gets really hot, there's not much insulation on the ground, and there's no air conditioning vents that actually get to the back of the Jeep. So he gets really hot. I already get hot enough sitting in the front. Um, I get super sweaty. Every time I take him out, he gets super hot. It's just uncomfortable and you don't like being hot, sweaty, stuff like that. Um, this could also be used if you're camping, if you're sleeping in the back of your Jeep, stuff like that, on those hot, hot nights. Um, or you're just chilling in the back, having dinner, you want a bit of a cold breeze, stuff like that. So what the idea behind this is, I actually saw this on Instagram, and I messaged the person, they haven't got back to me. I thought it was a great idea. So, let's hop in the Jeep and I'll show you what's going on. So inside the Jeep you've got our vents. And Jeep really makes, Jeep makes a really nice vent. How it's nice and round, um, it's great to fit like a cold drink and stuff in the vent if you want on a summer day. Uh, you just twist it and it pops the vent out. You can kind of clip in what you want, it's great. Um, and there's a pipe inside there as well. So the reason behind this is this going to be like a little bit of an extension to that pipe? As I said before, there's no pipes in the actual Jeep that actually run to the back where my sun sits. And we've got a black roof, it gets freaking hot. So what we will be doing is running the pipe straight in there, up along here, cable tying it to the roll bar and just making a vent that pretty much goes straight to the back of the Jeep and faces him. That way he gets some sort of cold air blowing directly on him. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today guys. The only thing I want to comment on is how intrusive it is actually for the passenger inside the car and how it sits down a little bit low, lower than I would have liked, but it sits absolutely perfect um, directly onto my son's head. So if you guys want to use this for camping, overlanding, stuff like this, I'd say it'd be absolutely perfect. I'm trying to keep cool on those hot nights, a lot of people use this for like a heater. Um, I've seen like a lot of people with vans and stuff use a slimmer setup, um, but trying to get hot air into the back of the car. They've already got a direct port of hot or cold air, so it's pretty much the same thing, but it's a great little tip for people that want to stay cold. Well, for the if people have kids in the back of their car, it's great for them to stay cold. We've tried it, it blows direct hot uh, cold air um, onto them, so it's absolutely mint for that. Um, so any way I can cool them down on those hot days is mint. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you liked this video, smash that like button if you haven't already. So if you haven't already, subscribe. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.